Send Stripe payment notifications on Slack automatically. So in this video, I'll show you how you can connect to Stripe and Slack application so that whenever the payment is done by customer in Stripe, the same payment notification will be sent automatically to your team on Slack, informing them about the payment related details. So if you also want to start sending the notification of every Stripe payment on Slack, then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is the dashboard of Stripe Payment Gateway and whenever any payment is successful, I want to send the notification about these payments on Slack to my team. And the interesting thing is, I will send the notification about the specific payments, okay? Whenever the payment is done via specific payment links, then only my team will be informed about that payment. And I am going to do that by simply connecting Stripe and Slack with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing and a very cost-effective integration and automation software. I am an existing user, so I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now, after login and reaching out to the dashboard, firstly, click on this view button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. I have provided provided the name as Stripe payment notifications on Slack automatically. How about I add this also that is send Stripe payment notification on Slack automatically. Okay. Now simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes. So these boxes are actually called as trigger and action. And here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So whenever this happens in application A, then automatically do this in application B. Okay. So this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation in this trigger and the action. Mode, okay. Now, according to our use case, whenever any payment is done in the Stripe application, then automatically send the notification on Slack application. Okay. So that is why I am selecting both the application here in the trigger and the action window okay and once the applications are selected now the idea here is i'm going to connect to both the applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so let us first connect to stripe with the Fab pabli connect i'm sorry for that so firstly i will select the trigger even that is whenever the checkout is completed so yes i want that whenever the checkout is completed in stripe this automation should trigger okay so that is why i have selected the same trigger event and as soon as I have selected the event here you can notice it has provided me a webhook URL and a few set of instructions okay so you will have to follow these instructions carefully one by one okay so firstly you'll have to copy this webhook URL and then go back to your stripe payment gateway dashboard okay so here I am actually working into the testing mode okay now I will visit this developer section and here you will notice that I will find a webhook option you can even read the instructions webhook option okay so let me search for the same option here and then further i will finally add my endpoint url okay so clicking on this webhook option button and then clicking on this add endpoint button and here exactly i will paste the same webhook url which i have received via public connect description is optional so i am not adding any current version well i will change it to latest api version and in this select event i will select the same event which is mentioned here okay Okay, so let me copy the same coming back to Pabli Connect. I'm sorry, coming back to Stripe Payment Gateway Dashboard. All right, I have selected the event, clicking on this Add Event button, and then finally I'll click on this Final Add Endpoint button. And this is how webhooks will be saved in Stripe Payment Gateway. And here you can notice that it has started waiting for the events. Basically, it has started waiting for the checkout. Okay, let me come back to Pabli Connect Dashboard, and here also you can notice notice that it is waiting for the webhook response also read the instruction that log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means check out completion in stripe okay so i will again visit the dashboard of public connect and here i am going to open some random payment link and then i will make a dummy payment in front of you okay and i am going to copy the a specific payment 
पेमेंट ओनली ओके पेमेंट लिंक ओनली दैट इज पी एच पी कोर्स फॉर बिगनर्स अज्यूम दैट आई हैव स्पेसिफिकली क्रिएटेड दिस पेमेंट लिंक फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट आई विल डायरेक्टली कॉपी दिस पेमेंट लिंक एंड विल मेक आर डमी पेमेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड एज सुन एज द पेमेंट इज सक्सेसफुल हेयर यू विल नोटिस दैट द डिटेल्स ऑफ दैट पेमेंट विल बी रिसीव्ड वाया पैबली कनेक्ट ओके सो लेट मी प्रोवाइड सम डमी ई मेल एड्रेस समथिंग लाइक डेमो एट द रेट पैबली चूज डॉट कॉम ऑल राइट दिस ई मेल इज लुकिंग गुड लेट मी ऑल्सो एड सम डमी फोन नंबर समथिंग लाइक नाइन सिक्स 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 इट इज अ टेन डिजिट डमी नंबर आस्किंग फॉर द फर्स्ट नेम सो हाउ अबाउट आई एड डेमो एंड द कस्टमर ओके इन द कार्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन विल वेल आई विल मेक दिस पेमेंट यूजिंग स्ट्राइप टेस्टिंग कार्ड डिटेल्स ओके सो आई हैव एडेड द सेम एंड एडिंग अ रैंडम सी वी वी कोड आस्किंग फॉर द नेम ऑन द कार्ड सो आई विल कीप इट सेम लेट मी ऑल्सो एड द एड्रेस ओके सो सिटी विल भी भोपाल ऑल राइट पिन कोड विल भी फोर सिक्स टू जीरो एनी रैंडम पिन कोड ओके स्टेट विल भी मध्य प्रदेश ऑल राइट सो आई हैव सिलेक्टेड द सेम लेट मी ऑल्सो एड द एड्रेस ओके All right, so I have added all the details. Clicking on this subscribe button, and you will notice that as soon as the payment is successful here, again the details of that payment will be received via Pabli Connect. All right, waiting for this payment. Fingers crossed. Thanks for subscribing. So the payment is successful, and here you can notice the response is also received in Pabli Connect. Okay. So let me show you the details one by one. Here we have the event type as checkout session completed, which is the same trigger event. Let me also show you other details. Okay. So here we have the payment status as paid. Here we have the checkout session. Okay. Let me also show you the customer details. Okay. So here we have the same dummy phone number, the same dummy name, the email address, and we also have the state PIN code and all the other details. I am also looking for the amount for which. I have made the payment. All right, here we have the first name also and last name also individually. Let me show you the amount which was of four nine nine nine. All right, so here we have the amount, but the thing is, it has also captured two extra zeros. Basically, it has ignored that decimal value. Okay, don't worry, we will change this amount. We will fix it. Okay, so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our Stripe payment gateway and Pabli Connect is working absolutely fine. Okay. Okay so now onwards what will happen every time any payment is done in the stripe payment gateway the details of that payment will be received via pabli connect yes currently doesn't matter which product it is pabli connect will surely receive the data of all the payments okay and that too instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is done now moving further i am going to send the notification about this recent payment okay but here we have a very interesting twist i do not want to send the notification of every single payment i only want that whenever the payment is done by this specific payment link only then only the notification should be sent okay so how i am going to define this in my automation so when you will open that payment link in the url you will find a p link that is payment link okay so with the help of this link i will set a condition in this automation okay how you can set the condition simply click on this plus icon after your stripe step okay and here search for the filter which is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of conditions within your workflow within your automation okay so let me first to show you the response of this checkout here you will notice that i have received the same payment link in this response okay so basically what will happen every time any payment data is received here uh, that data will also consist of this specific payment link so with the help of this payment link only i will define the condition here that if that response consist of this specific payment link then only 
this automation should proceed okay so what will happen if this condition will be true in our response also we will receive that the condition is true and whenever the condition is true in filter our automation will always proceed further okay but whenever the condition is false here our automation will stop here only okay so based on this condition only the automation will automatically decide whether it should proceed further or not okay so let me show you how you can set this condition when you will click on the select label you will find the above step data here in the drop down okay so firstly we will search for the same thing that is we have data object payment link okay so let me search for the same that is data object payment link okay and here you can see i have selected the same and in the filter type i will keep it as equal to only and here exactly i will paste the same payment link which i have received from this url okay so as soon as i'll click on this button you will notice that this time this condition will be true because our data actually contains this specific link okay so that is why the condition is true but assume that the payment done by customer is actually for different product is actually from a different payment link in that case what will happen the payment link will be different of course here and whenever this condition will check whenever our automation will check this condition it will find out that this payment is actually not done via that specific link in that case our condition will be false and our automation will stop here only okay so this was the case but whenever the condition is true what should be the next step so basically it should send the notification to the team okay so the application is already selected you'll have to select the action event that is send a channel message and just like we have connected stripe and pably connect now i'm going to connect the slack and pably connect so simply click on this add a new connection and click on this button that is connect with the slack and here you will have to define the token type either a user or a bot okay so what is the difference in this user and bot it is actually mentioned in this particular documentation you can check okay so here i will mention user only okay because i want to send the channel message and here you will notice that we have this flexibility to send the channel message in this user bot okay so let me copy the same and i will write the same here okay clicking on save and now it will ask you the access of your slack account okay but i am already logged in into my slack account okay so instead of asking me the access it is directly asking me for the permission okay so i have clicked on allow and you will notice that the authorization will be successful and my slack account will be immediately connected with the pably connect okay and because we are connected whatever the channels i have created inside my slack account have started visible here okay let me show you the same these are the various channels and all of them are visible here okay so i would like to send the notification in this general uh, slack channel okay so i am going to search for the same that is general here you can notice we have the same okay now it is asking that what message you would like to send to the team and you can also check out the formatting help documentation for the advanced option okay so i have already prepared a small message which i am going to directly copy from here and i will paste it here and let me first correct the formatting new payment is received and here i am going to attach all the payment related details like who is the customer what is his email address customer phone number what was the amount of the payment thanks manager okay and uh, how i will add the details here remember we have just captured the data into our previous step okay and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy this data and paste below i am going to map this data okay mapping is very simple whenever you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down let me search for the name of the person which was demo customer all right so i have mapped at the correct place okay now you must be thinking what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time
Yes, with every new payment done by customer, these details, existing details will be replaced automatically and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place. Now, I was about to map the uh, amount but the interesting thing is we do not have the exact amount. We also have two extra zeros. Okay, so how we can remove the these extra two zeros? Okay, so before your Slack step, you can click on this plus icon and search for the the number formatter again number formatter is an amazing feature of Pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of operation within numbers okay this time I would like to perform the math operation okay so here you can notice I have selected the action event and as soon as you click on this button it will be connected immediately and basically the idea here is I am going to divide 100 with that amount and this is how I will get the correct amount asking for the numbers okay so in whatever the number Numbers you would like to perform the operation you have to add those numbers separated by a comma okay so firstly I will map the amount because I want that with every payment this amount should be added here automatically okay and here I will also add 100 okay so whatever the details you will map will be replaced automatically but whatever the details you will provide manually will remain same and which operation you would like to perform okay so I would like to perform this divide operation click on this button and you will notice the data will be the number will be divided automatically and here I have the correct amount okay so this is how on every payment amount this hundred number will be divided automatically and this is how you can get the exact amount which I am going to map here basically I am going to map the correct amount instead of that amount well the interesting thing is the recent data is actually not visible here so I'll click on this refresh fields button so that I can access is the new data the refresh data also recent data I'm sorry for that okay so here you can notice we can access the recent data also all right so I have mapped it and I think I have provided all the important details now it is asking for the image URL okay so just in case if you have any image URL which you would like to share with your team you can add the same and here you can provide the alt text for that image asking for the sample bot I'm sorry asking for the bot name so I am going to add the sample bot name okay asking for the bot icon and again it is up to you if you have any icon URL you can add the same and this is how you can read the instructions and do the settings as per your requirement but I am going to click on this button directly and you will notice that as soon as the response is received here in the public connected a message will be sent automatically and here you can notice that message has been arrived immediately that is hello team new payment is received customer name is demo customer here we have the same email address the same phone number the same correct amount and we also have this thanks manager okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in slack and public connect is also working fine or we can say that our automation is also working absolutely fine okay so once you will create this automation inside Pabli connect you can sit back and relax because Pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this four step automation inside your Pabli connect account I will also attach this link into my description box simply click on that link and then sign up for free into the Pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own Pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabli connect and for the latest updates of Pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.